mark. Great way to start the new year, Woken Away. Yeah, what, what, what a start for us. Um, one that we're, we're looking forward to, one that um, we're looking to have a quick reaction from our, our disappointment at Dagenham. So, um, and also the disappointment from the last game, having, having had the lead in the game. So, yeah, lo loads to fight for, loads to look forward to, and uh, one we're going to be working our hardest in, and um, looking forward to training as well to, to prepare for a, what is going to be a big game for us. I suppose that's positive, isn't it? With the quick turnaround of festive fixtures, obviously, it gives a chance to prove things right after Tuesday's game. Yeah, definitely. You can't uh, rest on your laurels, you can't feel sorry for yourself, um, you know. It, it doesn't matter if we win, lose or draw, our process never changes. It's always, always uh, you know, the next game is always the biggest and we're, we're preparing hard for it. And, um, you know, as I said, look, looking forward to the game. The players should be looking forward to it and uh, we've, got, we've got everything to everything to fight for. Of course, with the rotation of the squad from Tuesday, players will be fit for this game as well. So competition for places ahead of the game. Yeah, certainly. We're starting to get some competition. Um, you know, something that we probably haven't had since, we, since we've come in. So, uh, you know, we're hoping uh, the new year brings us a little bit more luck on the injury front. And um, the players outside the squad at the moment continue to um, build up their, their, their rehab. And, and we welcome them back soon. And then it should look a, a lot more healthier for us. Of course, a couple of lone players I want to touch on that maybe have not been involved the last few weeks. Obviously, James Vennings, Joe Gubbins had injuries as well. What's the latest with them? Yeah, unfortunately, they uh, a real disappointment that they um, picked up injuries. Um, both of them really showed their class while they were here. Um, you know, they were great loan, great loan moves for us. Um, I hope they got a lot out of it. Unfortunately, they're, they're back at their clubs um, receiving treatment and um, that will probably see them through to the end of their loans. So we'll have to revisit that one uh, when they're fit and ready. Um, but I think two, two players have got a real bright future in the game and uh, hopefully you know, we've helped them in their, in their career and they'll, they'll always look back fondly on their, their time at Aldershot and uh, you, know, you never know, hopefully we might be able to revisit it again but in, in football you, you never know that but the main thing for them is uh, to get back fit, make sure that they um, get all the right treatment and help because um, you know, they should, both of those, I think we'll have long, long futures in the game. Of course, with January just around the corner as well, transfer window opens for the EFL and the Premier League. An opportunity to look elsewhere, possibly as well. Um, yeah, well, look, window always opens. If, if, I think I'd be silly to say here we'd never look. You know, we're always looking to improve. Um, you know, if the market opened up and we felt something could add value to us and sat within our remit of what we look for, then we'd always look at it. But as I said I'm always fully focused on the players here. Um, I think they've done a fantastic job. Um, and we've got a lot of players to come back as well. So, um, yeah, so, certainly like exciting times on the horizon, hopefully, um, with, with, with players coming back. And if the right one come up, we'd, we'd always look at that. But our, our focus is always on the players in here. The focus is always on training, is making better what, what we've got. And, um, yeah, and see, see what the future holds. Of course, with the first game of 2022 woken away, a couple of questions. How do you reflect on 2021 and also what do you look for in 2022? Well, we always, we always reflect on the latest game. Uh, but in football, it moves so quick. You, can't time, you haven't got time to sit back and, and look behind. It's always, you know, we've always got our, our eyes fully in the, in, uh, on, the, on the next training session, the next game. Um, we don't look too far ahead. We certainly don't look behind too much either. And uh, football doesn't give you a time, too much time either. So uh, I think it's, it's just go deeper into the way we work. Um, always look for ways to improve, look for those marginal gains. And uh, you know, I say the same things all the time, Henry, doesn't it? The job never changes. We're always, we're always looking to, to improve and work hard. Of course, obviously, the Woking game, it's set up nicely for the away game. Obviously, the home game was one all, sets up nicely. You know more than anyone how big the game is for the fans, but it's important that we you know, nurture that and make sure it's all kept under wraps and calm ahead of the game. Yeah, we, we've got to keep you know, our emotional control. We've got to have clarity in the way that we want to work and um, we've got to make sure we put our game onto them. Um, so, yeah, look, we've got plenty to focus on. Um, it is a game about mentality as well as physicality because, you know, it's a, it's a brutal game, the derby. And um, I just know our, our travelling support will get right behind us. Um, you know, the away support is always, is always great, um, even more so at, at Woking when they're you know, all along that terrace together, they're half make a noise. And um, we're going to need their energy. We're going to need everything. We've, we're going to have to take everything we can, um, any advantage we can seize, and our fans certainly give us that. So, uh, yeah, we, we, we're really looking forward to playing in the game, representing the club and uh, wearing that wearing that badge and that shirt with pride.
or you move the shot, look below for more information. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.